Hello and welcome back to a short weekend vlog. I did promise you I would do a little kind of bit of work on the weekend. It's a bit windy down here, so I apologise. So today I'm I've just taxed the Mercedes and I'm gonna give it its first drive out in six months. It was put off the road on the last day of August, first of September the sun started. It hasn't been out on the road since it's been stopped and started, but it's actually not been started up since Christmas time. I had the battery on charge last night, so have a little walk around. It is not done bad at all, actually. I've just reconnected the battery. And what else was there that I've just done? Oh, I've putting the dog cage cover on. And I'm really pleased. I mean, it is scabby, this old car. I'm really pleased how this is kept over the winter. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Sorry about that, I got stopped. So, yeah, stood here for six months in September. Brakes are slightly corroded, but I think they'll clean up perfectly fine. I'm just busy putting the child seats back in and stuff. But everything seems to have, when I've connected the battery up, has worked, all the doors have opened. Just been putting the child seat in, I've got to get the other one out the Cherokee. Um, but as you can see, the only reason I would, I was considering getting rid of that one, this one, but this has got a much bigger boot. As you can see, I've got a full size cage in the back. Put the puppy in the other dog can go here and obviously oh yeah obviously yeah i've got the roof box on it as well which comes in very handy for prams and stuff like that so yeah this was the stuff i was on my other video on about it's ethanol protection since this has stood for so long but yeah it's kind of fared off okay isn't it lovely car this i must admit really is comfortable proper big four-wheel drive all the extras unfortunately the air conditioning doesn't work so it gets a little bit toasty in the summer but look at the size of those big six pod brembos that's the big difference between the jeep which i'm worried about if i use this as a permanent tow car there's just not really any comparison in the side of the size of the brakes is there but the main reason i'm, I'm going to tax this today i'm going to take it out for a run because in less than three weeks we're going away in the caravan so i want to give it its first run today check there's no issues then get it into the garage give it a service it'll only need an oil change all the platinum 12 spark plugs were done on last time and the main reason actually i want to swing this round main reason i'm going across is as everybody will be aware the fuel prices are just absolutely going crazy Luckily this car's got just under three quarters of a tank of petrol from uh, from before I parked it up. But Costco's, I've done this in a brief video before, Costco's have very cheap fuel. At the minute for unleaded, it's only 142 for unleaded. Yet just two seconds up the road from where I live here, it's something like uh, nearly, uh, the 60s, 160 for unleaded. So Costco hold that price um, till Monday every week. So I was there on Monday uh, last week, week gone And I just went up to 142 So it'll still be that price now So we're going to go for a run for the car It's about a 60 mile journey out But we're going out anyways We're going to go into Chesley Street, Durham area For the day with the kids and the dogs So I figured it'll give this car a good run On a motorway, uh, on the way back Fill up with fuel at Costco Brim the tank while it's cheap Because it will be going up this Monday coming And that means I've got a full tank of fuel To probably get two caravan trips away And like I mentioned My me, me next caravan trip is probably about three weeks time But I need to get the caravan as well Out of storage That parked here Because as you might have seen on my other videos My caravan parks on the driveway Just here where the Mercedes is So anyways That's that moment of truth so moment of truth, will it start? I do know the wipers tend to seize when it's been left for a couple of months. And like I said, all I've, all I've done is check the tyre pressures, reconnected the battery because I leave it disconnected and charged it. And that's it. So shall we see? Moment of truth, where's the key? Where have I got it? That's the Jeep key. So yeah, anyways, quite a good little setup here. What do you think? Two, v, two 3.7 V6s. Mercedes ML. 360, 350 even, and the Jeep Cherokee 3.7 V6. Both made by Daimler, just so I can show you. A lot of people probably call us a liar there, but um, I need to unlock the Jeep. Just to show you, I'll just put my finger over some of the, sh the chassis number. So there you go. What does that say? Daimler Chrysler Corporation. And you probably understand that with Jeep. But I bet you wouldn't think this full-bred Mercedes would be, but it is. It's just down here. There you go. You wouldn't have imagined that, would you? Daimler Chrysler. 
Hey? It's nothing really to cover, it's just the wind, like I said. But um, yeah, so shall we see if she fires up? First time, I would say since before Christmas actually. Put the key in, the dials are on, that's a good sign. Because it's in park, it's an automatic. Will she fire? Will we have loads of lights on or not? Lights all gone out. And that sounds lovely, no rattling, tapping, nothing. Like I've mentioned, this engine is totally different to what's in the Jeep, so don't get confused there. This is a full-blown uh, quad cam, 24 valve. The Jeep isn't. The Jeep's a 12 valve. Uh, and this has actually got 12 spark plugs as well. Two spark plugs per cylinder. But listen to that. Sounds absolutely lovely. I'm not going to rev it or anything. I'm going to give it five minutes to run uh, just to get itself uh, warmed up. Look at that. No smoke. Nothing. Not even hardly any condensation out the exhaust. I have to say though, the Mercedes, when you get it up to full revs, like as in when tone, it sounds glorious. Like, I mean, it really can rev a lot higher than the Jeep uh, with it being quad cam. But the Jeep, well, it's got, the Jeep has got an aftermarket exhaust on. Hence, it sounds really burbly and lovely. This has got the full original Mercedes exhaust. So to be quite honest, as you can hear there now, that's just down to standard idle. It sounds lovely. That's six months it stood. So, we're going to go out for the day in it. I'll show update is. I just thought I'd do a quick weekend vlog. Um, I'm not going to upload this till tonight, so when we get to where we're going, if there's anything worth recording or fun to see the dogs or anything like that, um, I'll show let you know. Saying that, we'll go in the house and I'll show you the dogs because I did say... I did say on Friday's vlog, I'd let you see the puppy. So we shall go in and have a look. But let us know what you think on the Chrysler, the Chrysler, the Jeep, the two Jeeps. Jeeps, Jeep and Mercedes. So here they are, they're busy locked away because um, we're just about to go out. There's the big one, we've all seen him, Harvey, we know him. Sit, yeah, just sit, sit. I should have really gotten some treats before saying that. We'll give him a treat. Shall we give him a treat? I think we should. We'll get them both out the cage and we'll see which one's the best for training. Sit, Harvey. Down, down, down. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Go on then. He can actually do that with a piece of meat on his nose, believe it or not. Right, in your bed. In your bed. Go out in a second. Come on. In. He wants this other biscuit, that's why. Now we'll see the little one, but I will say he'll be high as a kite, so he probably might not listen to the instructions. But he's good, he's only four months old. Hunter! It's getting big since the last time. Excuse the bargain. See, he sits already. Leave it. Leave it. Go on then. There we go. Good little dog, this one. Absolutely fantastic. That's Hunter. And he's even taken himself back into his bed. So there we go. No, I'm just, now I'm just going to leave it. Excuse, excuse the dog barking. So, I'll leave this one here. I might do a quick recording later when I get back. Uh, when the car's had its run, let you know if there's any problems to report of, and I'll update it when I'm at the garage next week or the week after doing an oil change and a quick once over on the lift. But to be honest, I kept this car really high, highly looked after. We're towing the caravan, anyways, so oil and filter that's all I hope is going to need to be done. Saying that, there was one thing wipers, totally forgot about that one I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Are they going to work or are they not? Let's have a look, let's find out. They'll probably be very slow. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, they're going, but not very well. So what I tend to do on this occasion is close the bonnet for a start. Don't need nothing under there now. It's that closed. Lift them off the screen. Give them a pull. And they should start going. There we go. Just lift that one off the screen. There we go, and just leave them to, I need to get in there when I get time, I'll probably do it next week at work, and um, get some oil sprayed down into the spindles and free them off, that's all it is. I'm actually just going to leave them running to free themselves off, I'm going to spray a bit of oil down into the spindles, but I'm not going to do it to the go all, all over my drive, so I'm going to put it out on the road. So, I need to go, because I told the little fib there that I said I've taxed it, I'm, I'm actually just about to tax it, 
about five minutes, well, not five minutes, half an hour ago, I just suddenly come up my mind about taking that. We were going to take the Jeep, so I've had to put all the cage back in, um, sort the wipers, connect the battery, uh, and I've said I've taxed it, but I haven't, so my partner will be doing a head in because I'm not ready to leave, so I'm going to have to move it off there, oil the wipers, and then sit in the car, pretend I'm doing something on my phone, and get it taxed. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Um, I'll, I'll leave this one here, actually. If I do anything more about an update on the car, I'll just leave this as a separate weekend vlog. Um, and if there is any problems, I'll report back with that next week when I'm at the garage. And if we do happen to go out when we're out and do something worth recording, I'll do that as a separate video rather than it being car related slash family related. So, thanks for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this, hit the like. If you like this kind of thing at a weekend at my house, as you know, it's not going to be in depth as at the garage. But if there's anything you'd want to um, know, any information, please leave a comment below. Let us know what you're doing on your weekend. What do you think of the Mercedes? What do you think of the Jeep? Please leave the comments. That's what it's there for. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, please. It helps me no end. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon. Bye.